Hi, today we're going to talk about toxic phrases parents say to their children. Most parents want the best for their children. But it happens that attempts to protect the child from problems and bring up properly lead to the opposite result. Harsh language, criticism, and constant commands harm the fragile psyche. Here are a few sayings that you should not say to children. When you grow up, you'll understand. Often it is easier to promise a child that he will soon figure it out for himself than to discuss uncomfortable topics. But children feel that they are not smart enough and have no right to ask questions. In addition, this phrase can affect mutual understanding in the family. The child will feel that adults do not consider his or her interests. All children are like children, but you. Even adults find it hard to compare themselves to others. It causes stress and dissatisfaction with themselves. And when this is said to children, the effect is multiplied many times over. Especially often harsh comparisons are used by parents who have had no problems with their studies. But such phrases only prevent a child to believe in their strength. And not just in school. Just like his mother slash father. Conflicts between parents directly affect children. Family quarrels make them feel no longer safe. If they themselves are involved in conflict, the situation is exacerbated. When the basic need for safety is not met, it is difficult for the child to learn about the world and this can affect his or her development. I've sacrificed so much for you. Sometimes parents put the responsibility for problems in their lives on the child's shoulders. The child in such circumstances feels guilty and makes every effort not to upset them. Their own needs are pushed into the background, and problems with expressing them may remain, even when the child grows up. Look at you, what you look like. Rejection by parents is perceived very painfully by children. They feel that they are bad, since they do not conform to adult ideals. Because of the constant stress, children may develop depressive symptoms. Because I said so. It's not a good idea to talk to your child in a commanding tone all the time. Imposing strict rules that are not discussed fosters children's lack of autonomy. Children grow up obedient, but have trouble making decisions and controlling emotions. And they often learn worse than their peers. You have nothing of your own here. After this phrase, the child understands that his opinion will not be taken into account until he starts earning his own money. As a child this causes anxiety, and as an adult it can lead to problems with work and finances. But when I was your age, children want to be like adults, especially like their parents. But if adults talk about their successes, comparing them with the more modest achievements of the child, the effect is likely to be negative. After all, it is difficult for children to compete with their parents. You can't leave the table until you finish it. Sometimes food control turns into food abuse. A child who is forced to eat may conclude that his or her needs and desires are not important. The body's natural signals of hunger and satiety are muted, and the risk of developing eating disorders increases. Why not five? All parents want their children to do well in school. But when expectations become too high, children's self-esteem begins to depend on their academic success. And as a result, when something does not work out, even a small thing, the risk of depression and increased anxiety increases. If you don't obey, I'll put you in an orphanage. Even a milder form of threat can frighten a child and make him perceive his parents as enemies. But this will not work for long, over time, the child will realize that threats are just a bluff. And may start to behave even worse. You'll drive me to my grave. Fear of losing parents is one of a child's main fears. Children take such phrases literally, so they may start to blame themselves for everything that happens to their parents.